All right, guys, welcome back to uh, lesson number two now, Dom. Two, two or five, seeing how well Dom can go. <laughs> Got spectator Dylan behind the camera today. Um, yeah, so pretty much just a quick little recap before we start in the, into this one. We worked on just basic setup and posture last time. You managed to have any sort of practice between the last lesson? Uh, like 10 minutes here or there. All right, cool. Which is basically what we we're trying to do with this whole with this whole series is knowing that he's not going to have that much time to practice it's literally how good can you get with just lessons all right so before you do anything else and we get into any other sort of shots i want you to just go back to do remember that drill that we're doing before where you started off here and you do the turn through i just want you to do a couple more of those How was it again? back foot up on its toe swing through step through Yep. Do a couple of those before you hit each shot. Happy for you to stand on the ground with two feet and then hit the shot normally, but I want you to do that as your practice swing first. Like yep. And then just a normal shot? Normal shot. Trying to mimic, mimic that feeling. Better. Because remember last lesson we decided, well, we didn't decide, we found out that every time you hit that right, nine times out of ten, more so than every time, is generally because you get stuck, you don't turn and you go up this way. That's where you also get a little bit of pain with the rib. So we want to make sure we're still turning through. Now obviously as this is all about Dom's not able to do a whole lot of practice between each session, we are having to recap a couple of things at the start, but that's fine. It's exactly how it would go down if we were to do it with any other person who had minimal practice between lessons. If we go down and have a look in here, watch your body again. See how it does that I lift up? Try. Stop. It's so hard not to. Look at that back foot though. See how flat it stays as you go through? Yeah. And you're not, it doesn't come up until you're all the way through <laughs> in your finished position. It's like it's a last thought where you go like that. You need to get that feeling like as you hit the ball, that starts coming up. Uh -huh. And that's why you want to do it now where we're going to have both feet flat on the ground. You're going to take that swing and you're gonna step through. Because as you do that step through, you're following with the momentum there. You're not trying to scoop it up and then do it. Like that, good. And that's why you hit that last one really, really well is because you went through with the momentum. Had our weight on our forward foot and we turned. No, try and do it without stepping forward on this one. Yeah, yeah, better. And that's partially, that's partially how you play a stinger, is you cannot hit a stinger if you're coming into the ball and going uh, like this and leaning back. Because all you're going to do is if you manage to get it, you're going to scoop it up in the air. And again, that's not a very high percentage shot that we want to have. And it's not very good for your back or your rib. So we want to make sure we're turning through. Turning through the ball. Really good. Really, really good. So that's going to be a common thing. That's going to be a common thing that we have um, throughout all the lessons that we do. Anything with your full swing, we're going to get you doing that before you hit. But what I also want to do, and what we're going to really work on this session, is if we go and have a look back at your back at your video. Watch your arms on this one. See how they're really, really close together, and you're getting a lot of sort of wrist hinge. You kind of look a bit, so if I jump in here, as you take it back, you kind of look like you get all right to here and then you come in and you just use a lot of wrist hinge like that. And you're trying to pick it up this way. So what ends up happening is one, that club face when you lift it up, very, very closed. So what that does is two things. One is if your body moves and tries to go swinging around to the left, but you don't do it properly where you get that rotation, you end up swinging a little bit over the top. It's gonna end up pointing that club face way down to the left at impact and that means golf ball starts left now we know because you're used to doing this it doesn't do that it kind of sorts itself out a little bit there in not the way that we want to but in a way that you've kind of figured out to make it work for yourself but if we start getting you swinging with a really close club face that's going to end up starting to go left the other thing that it does is if we keep this really really closed on the way through we take the loft off the club the angle down here on that golf club that's the loft if we close it down through, through impact, it's not going to launch as high. So we want to make sure that we're using the, using the loft of the golf club. So the way we do this is, set in here, 
Now imagine there's a golf ball just here. So first things first, take your grip. And as you swing back, what we want to do is we want to try and keep this arm a little bit straighter, a little bit further away from you. Feel like you're getting a nice long extension there. Coming further than that. Most important. See this, how this part of the club here, that's called the toe of the golf club. Yeah. We want that pointing up to the sky. Okay. So more so here, because from here, we turn. But then my whole head rotates. No, the, this is where you start learning how to separate your, your body, so your upper body chest area, to your head. This is how we learn to do that. And the best drill for that is if you take that golf club, I'll try not to destroy the mic here with it, maybe put it across your chest like this, yeah. cross your arms over again in that setup position. You want to be able to, while keeping your head still, turn back, get this part of the golf club pointing down to the ground, and then turn forward. Head still looking down at the ground. See how this one comes through and points down to the ground? I don't think I have the rotation for that. You'll learn to. <laughs> yeah, like this. I'm going to back that you don't have the coordination at first, not the rotation. So get in your setup position like you'd be over the ball. No, you, you put the club there, but your body's in the setup position. Okay. Yep. Good. Alright. Yep. Now keeping your head still, go the other way. We always start the way we do the backswing. Like that. Good. Now turn through. Like that. Good. Go again. Good. Good. Again. <laughs> this is difficult. Yep. And this is a drill that you can practice at home. Like, you don't even need a golf club to do this. <laughs> For all you kids out there. <laughs> oh, this is, this is huge. Like, this drill, so many people come to me and don't, don't have the, not so much the coordination, but don't know the difference between moving their body, their head, their lower body. They can't separate it. So this is a really, really good drill. If you can get in front of a mirror, even better. Because you can get into this setup position just like this, looking straight at the mirror working there making sure that your head doesn't bobble back and forth it's massive and that's going to really really help you out because now if i get you without a golf ball try and take your golf swing trying to replicate that feeling with your shoulders yep and go through good i want to show you this do it again do it a couple times again Look at this. See how you turn? Yeah. Body turns through. Look at your head. Look how much less movement that head has. Way better, yeah? Way better. Now, from there, obviously, you gotta, we got to build into that coordination. As we don't need to keep our arms straight the whole way through there. It's keeping it straighter, yes, compared to collapsing in, much better. Well, eventually, it'll be coming up to you then. Exactly. And then keep yeah. Down. Yeah. Where while you're trying to learn this movement, you're obviously only doing sort of like a three quarter swing when you're getting the hit. That's fine. While we're doing this, that's perfect. I want you to try and hit some shots like that. What you're going to do is we're going to go three shots on, three shots off. So you're going to try hitting these three shots. Then you're going to grab your club and you're going to do this this drill again. Go for three swings and then you'll go back to hitting another three shots. That's right. Yep. Go again. Jump back here and watch a few from back here. I do. Good. Really good. Really, really good. All right. Now it's important that even though you hit that well, we go back. We do the drill. Three on, three off. And the main reason for it is the golf swing is all muscle memory. So we want to make sure that we're drilling this into you so this feeling is something you can take through into the golf swing. Really good. How good does that look? Looks, yeah, very good rotation. Do I have struggle yeah. rotation? No, no, you... you <laughs> for reference, right, one of the last students that I did this with one of the last students I did this with, this was their max rotation. To there. Yeah, well. And it's just because people don't know what... They don't know what that, the movement is. They don't stretch, they don't practice that movement. Obviously, the more you practice this, the better you can develop like it. Stretch. Yeah, it's really good. So, so far, you're getting that backswing really, really good. You just got to get that... Replicate it, get it through on that downswing. Back to your drill. 
<laughs> and when you do this, I want you to be nice and deliberate on the way through. Focus on what it feels like when you go through. Keep your head still. You can come up a little bit. You're not that you're not that bent over when you're in your golf stance, are you? You're more there. Good. 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 Very good. All right. That was clipped. That was very good. It's because you're turning. So right now you're mastering that sort of punch pitch seven iron. We need, need now, sorry, we need to now catch you doing it with your full swing. So I want you to try and take a more full swing like that. Take your practice swing first, but I want you to go straight on the ball. Very important, take your practice swings while we're learning. And what, this? Yeah, so go, all about that turn, right? So I want you to just keep, there you go. There you go, see how this stays very, very much, much straighter than it was before? Yeah. From here, it's yeah. just about that. Getting that extra turn. That's my whole head movement. So that, like, I'm yeah, still bending yeah that's fine. That's fine. And then as I'm coming in. Yeah. So the thing is, you don't need to feel like you're staying straight and going up that way. See how that's pointing yeah, up to the sky? Like it's, you turn around. Same way we do that same movement. Good. Very good. And that's your swing. And then we just develop the speed to it. Good. Really good. That is pure. If you can manage to put that same swing onto the ball, you're not going to have any issues. So good. Really, really, really good. Go again. Practice swing first, and then into the ball. That noise is so nice. <laughs> exactly. Now where where we look at going from that to full swing, right, is if I if I jump in there, right? So at the moment, we're getting that tactical that technical side of it down really, really good. So you're swinging, getting that into the nice position there, and you're pretty much just going nice, good, consistent speed, getting it out there, hitting that sort of shot. Where we develop it is we don't obviously you're struggling with the turn, so we can do a bit of flexibility work with you as well. That would be good. But the big thing is it's all in the speed. So both of those very, very similar in terms of length of swing, increasing the speed. But we need to make sure we nail that technique side of it first before we try and chase too much speed, because otherwise all that's gonna end up happening is you're gonna revert back to what feels comfortable. Yeah. Like I said, can't emphasize this enough. Golf swing is all muscle memory. We need to make sure that we get the muscle memory down. <laughs> all right, go again. I like that a lot. This will be your normal. In terms of controlling direction, once you get contact and once we get that contact properly consistent near the middle, we can fix direction so much easier than contact. Contact is king. Now, in terms of what we know about what causes ball flight is Direction the golf ball starts, as long as our contact is somewhere near that middle of the face, the direction it starts is all gonna come down to which way that club face is pointing at impact. So we know that your miss hits generally start a little bit right. They don't move a whole lot through the air, and obviously we're into and a little bit to the right with, in terms of our wind today. So even them, much less you're doing than it is the wind. But we know that if they start a little bit right, generally that's where your starting position is. Club face is in that open position at impact. If we can get them, if, it's, if it starts left, we know the club face is closed. If it goes straight, we know I've got it squared up pretty well. The way it curves through the air, that comes back down to your club path. 
And again, we haven't done a whole lot on it because we're just getting your body moving right. And by getting your body moving right, we're able to actually make it a lot more neutral for you. Really good. All right, a little bit chunky with there. I want you to do that practice swing again. Good. Let's go in. Remember, as you bring it back, I want you to bring it oh, Yeah, yeah. At this point in time, I'm not surprised. So without the ball, I want you to get into set up position, bring the club back to about here. Good. We want to make sure that we're working on keeping this a lot straighter because, and again, you're saying you're just getting tired. As fatigue sets in, you're likely to go back to where you're feeling more comfortable, which is here and in a really close position. We want to make sure that left arm feels like it's staying much straighter earlier there. Let your body do the moving. Good thing is we're almost done. And if you do manage to get some time to get out to the range and do some practice, and you're doing this, and you find that your contact goes a little wayward again, zone it back down, do those, those punch shots, those three quarter shots, nice slow tempo ones, get that set again, move back up into the full swing. That's how we do it. Really good. Nice. Very nice ball flight to it. A little bit pulley, but most part really, really good. But that all makes sense today? Yeah. Do you have any questions before we finish up? No, no, I don't. Perfect. I'm really, really happy where we got him after this session. Um, still, got, still got three more to go. We are waiting on a driver tip for Dom's driver, so hopefully that comes in the next couple of days and we'll be able to get his driver sorted and we'll do some long game, long irons and driver in the next session. That'll be interesting. Yeah, that'll be fun. If, we, if you can bring this swing into where we're moving forward, you're going to find everything's a lot more consistent and that's where golf gets a lot more enjoyable is when we can actually get the ball in the air more consistently it's also where it gets a little bit more frustrating <laughs> but yeah no i'm really happy where we got you so thanks look happy to help looking forward to seeing you again in the next video dom